Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back. I am James and you are watching Blue Dog Reptiles. Today we are talking about our California king snakes and how to properly care for them. Now this girl is an adult female. Uh, she doesn't have a name, so if you can think of a name, uh, let us know in the comments. Now, she is a desert spotted California king. You can see she has some amazing patterns to her. Also, oh, did that, did that plant startle you? <laughs> also, thank you to all the new subscribers. This channel is growing like a weed, and that is all thanks to each and every one of you. We really appreciate the support, and if you are new to this channel, tuning in for the first time, please do consider subscribing, hitting that like bell, or that like and notification bell. Uh, that way you stay informed with all new videos. We bring you one big video during the week and lots of little ones throughout the rest of the week. Without further ado, let's get into it. I don't have food for you. You literally just ate yesterday. So, the California king snake, as stated by its first name, California, comes from the United States and Northern Mexico. What are you doing? You're exploring because you're not used to being out. I know, but I didn't want to take pictures of you through the glass because you're just so pretty, aren't you? Yes, you are. Their diet, so these guys eat mice. I may get tagged here, we will see. <laughs> um, mice, rats, lizards, frogs, these guys also eat snakes. And you're like, oh, there's no way that these guys can eat snakes. Yes, absolutely there is. I've actually seen it done between two Mexican black king snakes that were babies. And I just set them together for about 10 minutes so I can make up the new baby bin for the other one. And the first one ate the other one. So it does happen. Uh, size, these guys aren't terribly big. Um, the average size is anywhere between two and a half to three and a half feet. Um, and they never exceed five foot. She is actually pushing five feet. So she is the exception to the rule. Where, where, hey, where, where are you going? No, let, let, let's stay in there, okay? Let's not go, ex no, we're not gonna go exploring. Lifespan on these guys. So in the wild, they only live about 10 to 15 years. And, but in captivity, they've actually been known to live 20 plus years. No, you, you can't, you, hey, hey. Oh, I know, I, I messed with you. Oh, no, no, oh, no, no. We're, 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 we're gonna stay in the enclosure, okay? But yeah, so 20 plus years in captivity, which shows you that captive bred animals are so much better. She, she thinks she can escape over there. <laughs> Only this section of glass is open. Enclosure size. So for babies, they should be in a 10 to 20 gallon tank. Um, now as adults, they should be in about a 40 breeder. Um, the enclosure she's currently in is a three by three by three cube uh and we actually need to move her are you playing peekaboo with us that's adorable absolutely adorable are, are you figuring out you can come out now we actually have her in a bioactive setup so you can see the moss and the plants well the plants have been better because she likes to trample them all so yeah but we have a hide and a water dish for her, and then we have underheat, and then we also have an overheat ceramic for her to keep her in her proper range. Now, that brings us into the temperature. Now, these guys don't like it overly hot. Uh, typically, 85 to 88 degrees is where they need to be. We're gonna go back in there. And you don't want to exceed 90 degrees. These guys aren't like some of your desert snakes that like it really, really hot. These guys, in my opinion, are more of a, I wouldn't say like true tropical because they're not like a Brazilian rainbow boa. Um, I would say these guys are like in between. <laughs> She's just exploring around. Humidity is 35 to 60%, uh, which can be accomplished by misting. Live plants also help with the humidity. Uh, so if you want a beautiful setup, then definitely add some plants in there. Are we gonna just sit here? 
are, are you thinking of your next next escape? Uh, if I'm slow and stealthy. Level of care, so these guys are really docile. Um, they can be a little anxious. So if, if you notice like when I touched her and she's not expecting it, then uh, she can be a little bit jumpy. Adults aren't as nervous as babies are. Babies are very jumpy and anxious and there's a chance that you could get mussed on by them. But overall, they are very, very good snakes. And well, when they're not trying to get into trouble, she is a big sweetheart. She just likes to escape or try to escape anyway. Yep, see, she's like, oh, I'm gonna come back out. Oh, 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 sorry, you can't go that way. Man, you are making this difficult. There you go, go that way. Now, price range on these guys varies a lot, actually. So babies are typically anywhere between $80 and $350, depending on their morphs, because these guys come in so many different morphs. And then adults can range in price anywhere from 250 up to, I've seen them close to a thousand. And again, it just depends on what morphs they are. Are you trying to blend in now? Are you? But overall guys, these are an absolutely amazing snake. Um, as long as they are worked with, um, she's been worked with a lot. And so that's why she doesn't really care when I pick her up and move her around. Um, but man, she's just adorable and she's a good eater. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. Thank you so much for watching. Again, thank you to all the new subscribers. We greatly appreciate your support. And uh, let us know, like I said, down in the comments on uh, what we should call this little escapee. We will see you guys next week.